Hey, it's Keith Tobias coming at you from Bona Fitness with Elizabeth Lemon on her journey to our first 150 pounds for the year. This is uh, April 28th, 2013. And how many pounds have you lost so far, baby? 58. 58 pounds. So we're almost to the halfway point. You know, our goal is to be at halfway kind of about June, about my birthday, June 4th. So that'll, that'll put, us a, put us right at the 75 pound mark. Um, we had a little stumble at 50 pound mark. <laughs> Took us a while to get over 50. Tell me, tell me about that. What, what took so long? Um, a lot of self-defeating behaviors, just holding on to old habits and um, not focusing on the right stuff. I think I was scared to let go of some of that and just um, kind of lying to myself a lot about what I was doing. Like, in one way, I would really tell myself, oh, I'm on track, I'm on track. And then, you know, at midnight, I'd be going to I totally understand that. You know, one of the things that, that, that we promised was that we wouldn't even make it public until we got the 50 pound mark. So when we started, I told my team, Carlos and Anthony and Bronson, now Shelly, I said, uh, it's going to take us a while to get over the 50 pound hump. Whether Elizabeth knows it consciously or subconsciously, for the fact that we're about to tell people about it, I'm sure to add it some pressure on there. Did you feel, did you feel that? Is that yeah. something that you like, might have? I'm still not even talking about it. Like, <laughs> I know it's about to happen, but like, I'm just That's true. very I have, concerned. I know it. And I'm not even sure how we're going to present it to everybody yet. So to be honest with you, but we're, we're, we're about to. I, um, we've approached a couple of magazines because I think it's a great story. And you know, as we worked out today, and I told Elizabeth that we start talking about planes of motion because one day you're going to be coaching somebody doing this. That's kind of the mindset I want you to keep is that, is that you know, I'm motivating people to, who are where I am to let them know it's possible without surgery, through healthy eating, through lifestyle changes, um, through mindset changes. Mm -hmm. um, and so what we're going to present it to the world and let's see what happens and hopefully everybody will be really receptive to it and anybody's not, then I'm kicking everybody anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, with that said, you talked today about the power of your mind when you, with the water and how you learn to overcome some things. Kind of talk about that a little bit. <laughs> about two weeks ago, I was working, um, and I worked until midnight, and it was about 11.30 p.m., and I just got this crazy sweets craving, like obsessive. All I could think about was cake and cupcakes and cookies, and I just like, it was like I sat there like an addict, and it was all I was thinking about. And <clears throat> I sat there and told myself, okay, you can either completely undo several of those workouts that you've done this week and go get something right now, or you can take a big thing of water, shut your mind up, and go to bed right after work. And I made the decision to just drink water and go to bed, and I felt a thousand times better. Felt a thousand times better the next day because I had my water intake. And it also was a huge lesson that my mind is so much more powerful than my cravings if I just let it be. Well, it's just huge. You, you use that word addict or addiction. You know, a lot of people know I was a heavy kid and I can just totally remember all I was thinking about was food. I, t I tell people this all the time. Probably the two of the things I've ever thought about the most as a kid, besides playing and have a good time, was, was food and, and girls. <laughs> that's, that's about the two things I've ever felt the most that controlled my day. And it is almost like an addiction. And so a lot of what we're doing are breaking old habits that, that you were somewhat addicted to. You mentioned fast food. You also mentioned sugar. You know, we've always talked about the lack of water. It's one of our cheapest supplements. You know, first thing I always ask people, if your joints hurt, are you hydrated? Are you losing, I'm not losing weight any this week. Are you hydrated? It's, it's huge, it's huge. It's amazing what water will do for keeping us full, um, keeping our joints healthy, immune system up, and that kind of thing. Um, you and I had a powwow, uh, a heavy powwow, probably at about, the, about you know, Elizabeth I hit, it was like 49 pounds down, and the next thing I know, she gained four or five pounds, six pounds over the first couple of weeks. I gained 13 pounds. Is that what it was? She gained 13 pounds, and, and I wasn't very happy about the whole thing. So, so I remember, and, and my wife will tell you this, anytime I, and anybody I'm close to, if I start a conversation by saying, no matter what happens in the next few minutes, I love you, that, that it's going to be a tough conversation. <laughs> so that's how kind of how the conversation started. You know, Elizabeth, I love you, but... Um, and it was a tough conversation for both of us to have. Tell me about that conversation. Well, I knew I was in trouble because, like, literally 
three seconds after I walked out of this gym, I had a text message that said, you need to call me now. <laughs> and that's not a tone I ever get from you. So I was like... <laughs> Basically, it was just kind of a, a come to Jesus meeting about the fact that this gym is doing so much for me, and um, and I'm taking away from myself when I fail this gym. Not only do I feel the goals that everyone here at Bona has for me, and all of the time that everyone at Bona is putting in, um, it was also a conversation about the fact that when I cheat, I'm cheating myself, and. <laughs> <laughs> Some words that Keith said that I always think of now if I think about having a cheat meal because I used those phrases, that phrase for like my first three months. Every time I think of a cheat meal, I think of Keith that day saying, you've been having cheat meals for 38 years, you don't get any more cheat meals. <laughs> I did say and that it's too. it's true, it's very true. My whole entire life has been one entire cheat meal, so... Well, like I say, it's proud of you. When Elizabeth does really well, I can always tell she'll lose somewhere between five and nine pounds a week when you do really well, you know, which makes us so proud. The thing that's funny that you don't know about is Carlos, we have weigh-in Wednesdays, and Carlos is the person that weighs Elizabeth, and I asked him to take a picture of the scale and send it to me, and that becomes your picture on my phone. Like when you call me or text you, I see what you weigh. Uh -huh. um, it's amazing to me how intimidated Carlos is when you don't do well. I mean, all the trainers take it personally. Uh -huh. And all my trainers and myself, we, we, we're proud of you, but, but there's a certain level that's, you're really personal to us. But I could just, and I know Carlos, Carlos is my manager, and he does a lot of, wears a lot of hats in the business. But, but I don't know if you know how bad it hurts Carlos when you don't do well, because I'm like, Carlos, I didn't get a picture today. Well, sir. <laughs> I'm like, Carlos, this, this is Elizabeth stuff. He said, I know, I just feel bad for everybody when it doesn't happen. So. So you're on point. You've been on point the last couple of weeks, and it's getting easier. Is it getting easier? Is it getting better every week? Yeah, or is it? Yeah, it's getting easier, and I just feel, I don't know, I just feel like there's no, I think ever since you said that I've been cheating myself for 38 years, there's just no other option. I mean, why on earth would I go back to feeding myself with crap and, and living a life on the couch when in the past four months, Every single month, my life has had drastic improvements. That's amazing. And so that is like my reality now. And like, I'm gonna start crying, but like, That's all right. when I left here after my weigh in last week, I cried almost the whole drive home. And I was asking myself, like, am I crying because I'm scared of this improvement? Or am I crying because I'm proud of what I've done? Um, and it, it occurred to me by the time I got home. The reason why I was crying and the reason why I'm crying now is because it feels so incredible to finally know I'm capable of something that I've always my entire life told myself I couldn't do. My whole entire life I would tell myself, if only I could lose weight, this would improve. If only I could lose weight, that would improve. My life would be different, different if only I could lose weight. And I was constantly telling myself that it was not something I was capable of and that it was not in my power. And I now know it's in my power, and I'm given this huge gift of help from Bona. It's just, my mindset is so different because now I know what's possible if you just work at it. That's awesome. And it's funny too, because because that's where it is. I and mean, I mean, I'll never forget the first day you and I had that conversation, and we really, we finally realized that you did start off weighing, you know, 512 pounds, and neither one of us knew what you weighed at the moment. I mean, that was just a great, great moment and great feeling because we knew we were about to embark on something that's, it's totally changing. It's changing your life at the moment, and we're all proud about that. But but there's going to be some people across the world that are going to start feeding off your energy, and I'm excited to see what happens with that and I'm interested to see how you handle it. It, it you do you become responsible for more than you I mean and that was a conversation that you and I had I was like you know it's 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 bigger than you at this point and it, it was all about you in December and it really was all about you in December and, and and every day is all about you but in a minute you're gonna start feeling some people you'll get an email or a phone call and I'm on the couch right now and I can't get up how do I get started and, and there's going to be some things that as a team we got to figure out. You know, if somebody's not in Houston, what are we going to do for those people? How are we going to motivate them? Because all we can do right now is talk to them and, 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 and influence them by example. So when you start seeing your workouts online and, you know, when we talk about your clothes fitting different, I mean, you, you bought some clothes two sizes too big, two sizes too small, whatever, now they're too big. All those little things that, that are going to make a difference. And, you know, we're just so proud of you, as always.
My birthday present is 75 pounds at least. June the 4th, that's our next big goal. Piece of cake. That's exactly, we're probably gonna be there before that. Um, but, but we're proud of you. And like I say, Anthony, we're here for you. So anybody listening, have any questions, visit our Facebook, Bona, what's our Facebook? Facebook at Bona Fitness Katie. <laughs> Go to facebook.com at Bona Fitness Katie, or our website uh, is bonafitness.com. And uh, cheer on Elizabeth, she's about to start her blog, and uh, we're excited. <laughs> proud of you, baby, love you, good work. Thank you.